This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Learning can be one of the most effective forms of education. One gets out of textbooks and into the real world. Bite It This Week takes a look at learning which can be fun, unconventional and most of all unforgettable. If you are a person who gets easily scared by science and technology, hang in there and watch our show. Also on Bite It, we take a look at some antivirus software options and what works best for your computer. And play a game of virtual golf with Dar Shrikant, who teed off at Oz Academy recently. The story of Ekalavya is not something you might hear on a tech show. But hey, Python always walks the path less trodden. Ekalavya was an ace archer and a self-trained one at that, whose aim was second to none. On the show this week, we meet a bunch of students and trainers who believe in this form of self-learning. But instead of archery, they dabble in science and technology. Saran takes the phrase, catch them young and watch them grow, very seriously. Founder of a very unique academy called Ekalaiva, Saran specializes in taking technology into classrooms, but in a different way. For Saran students, science is not a subject that will haunt them at every quarter at exams or every day at a tuition class. Instead, Ekalaiva integrates science, technology, engineering and math with robotics to get children's interest peaked. want to introduce as a hobby because when we introduce a hobby you know the people like there is no competition there is no comparison at all so simply there, there is no limit at all they can go up to any level that's the reason we use a hobby so we want to introduce uh, as a hobby the whatever we are talking about science and technology we want to introduce as a hobby they are, we want to introduce the whole life actually so whenever they free they supposed to do it they have to play with some technology once they understand the fundamental concepts the idea is we need to avoid the muck-up concept here. This Chennai-based academy teaches robotics for kids, digicraft, hobby electronics and toy science. Some of Saran's classes take place at Mahindra World School in Mahindra City, where small batches of 10 to 20 students fill up the rooms over weekends. Ekalaiva Academy's methods are simple. Break down science into bite-sized pieces and anyone can digest it. For instance, in the robotics modules, Ekalaiva trainers teach children between the age of 6 and 16 years the fundamentals of this exact science. Then they get down to assembling one with the help of a kit which has four sensors, two motors, a motherboard and lots of screws. Robotics is a discipline which involves multi-disciplines such as electrical, electronics, mechanical, designing and computer science. So all this integrates to form a robotic engineer. Like well, that's why the reason we make like we don't make one student to do one robot wherein we involve a group of students to use their creative ideas to put in different departments and make up a total robotic project. Some of the concepts that get decoded here are taught so simply that one will remember them for life. For instance, if I was asked to define voltage right before I entered this class, I would have looked away and pretended that I didn't hear you. But now I know the Ekaliva definition, which is... Imagine there is a mountain and water is flowing from that mountain to the bottom. Okay. So what happens if the mountain is too tall? The water comes very fast, gushing towards the ground. The same thing happens in your wire where that water is called your current and voltage is called, gravity is called your voltage. So if the voltage increases, what happens to current? Current increases. Okay, the same thing happens as if in your wire and you will not be able to see the electron as you see the water. But this is the phenomena happening there. Okay, and some person called as Ohm discovered it and he put us a law called Ohm's law where voltage is directly proportional to current. The 
Hobby Electrical class gets children to design gadgets that can help them around in the house. For instance, a touch sensor. This is a touch sensor which is connected to the breadboard which is connected to a 9 watt battery. It uses a body as a conductor and the two terminals of the batteries are connected to the LED and the LED starts to glow. It can be used in mobile phones or in switches like um, uh, electrical appliances. The classes intensify with advanced levels as the projects and assignments get more organized. Now some of these ideas are picked up by students when they are doing their engineering or pure science degrees. But at Ekalaiva, children half their age are picking it up at double the speed. I keep meeting these children from engineering college and other places and they keep telling me, ma'am, like, you know, we come across so many concepts. We just, we just go through them, learn and that's it, you know. We don't even understand them properly. So this set us thinking like you know why not introduce it at a level where they are more free to understand they don't have the tension of being in the college and being uh, like you know wanting to perform at that level and here they are in school where they take it up as a hobby they nurture it and they grow with it and later on if they want to go in for engineering things are much easier for them it's like learning ABC at lower KG level. Toy science is another hobby to master at Ekalaiva's classes. Basic shapes like cylinders, cubes and squares are made from thin strips of paper. In fact, the Japanese paper art form of origami has evolved into a 3D version called kirigami. I learned some measurements and some I learned Rings I learned first you have to take a long paper, then you put it like this, then you make some designs. Kirigami can be found in greeting cards. This art form gives students an idea about x-axis, y-axis and the third level, z-axis. Students will pick up uh, analytical skill and mathematical skill and especially for creativity skill and they created a lot of uh, activity like you know when you talk about robotic training they created Ferrari car and they created with the USB fan and they created a lot of vehicles actually it's a sports utility vehicle something like that. See this line? It's straight right? Not anymore. The straight lines become slanted. It's all a matter of perception really. Think about it. It's child's play. Ekalaiva is trying to get more girls interested in science and one of their future training sessions will be on incorporating LEDs into fabrics, t-shirts and embroidery. Mail in to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com if you think this form of learning is very effective. On the other side of the break, Pratibha Raman reviews some of the best antivirus softwares available in the market. And a game of virtual golf awaits you in our gaming segment.